Welcome back, it's me Lou. Okay, uh, for today's video, um, this is going to be more so a first impressions uh, video. I am not going to unbox this um, and do a thorough review. This was an item I came across on Amazon and I was really curious about it because I don't have any um, bendable action figures in my collection. I, I mean, I used to when I was like a little kid, I used to have some like bendy wrestlers. Uh, but this one's uh, Bendy Figs, produced by the Noble Collection, um, and we have Harley Quinn. So what caught my eye about this, uh, the other night I was on Amazon, and um, I was just looking for Harley Quinn figures, and then this came up. And the thing that caught my eye is that they made mention that this was a 7-inch scale action figure. And uh, even though it's a Bendy Fig, I was kind of curious to see if something like this, you know, would be able to, like, hold up if I... Put it on the same shelf as like my McFarlane action figures. So I picked it up. Um, for one, I really like this costume design of Harley Quinn. You know, I kind of wish we got something like this in the DC Multiverse line by McFarlane Toys. Um, and I don't know. I think this is just one of those things where I, I, want, I really wanted to check this out. Because I think if I like this figure enough, you know, I might dive in and buy a couple more of these. And if I do, then I'll unbox it. You know, I'm just not unboxing it now because it doesn't really have a place in my collection. All right, so um, let's take a quick look at this. We have the Bendy Figs um, DC Harley Quinn. So it's a bendable figure, meaning it's not articulated like your standard action figure. Um, if it's like other bendable figures I've handled in the past, I'm assuming it's kind of made of like a, maybe like a rubbery plastic and it probably has like a wireframe skeleton inside of it, which allows it to like, you know, bend and somewhat pose. Um, it's made by the Noble Collection, recommended for ages 7 and up. And, uh, you know, you have a very comic book um, style illustration of Harley over here. Uh, toy lectable figure with display stand. So it's... Toy collectible, it's an interesting word. It sounds like it's, you know, playable and also collectible. So I guess they're trying to appeal to both markets, you know, kids and also collectors. Um, there's a big giant display stand underneath. And I think there might be a DC logo on there, I think. And if you look carefully, it even has the Harley Quinn logo on the front of the stand. Um, she comes with her trademark baseball bat. Not the hammer, this one's actually the baseball bat. Because I know that some people associate Harley Quinn with like the giant mallet. Um, the hairstyle. Alright, so here's up close image of the face. And as you can see, the paint application isn't the greatest, especially on her lipstick. Uh, the lipstick looks like it was painted on a little too high. And it's reaching a little bit high up um, above her like divot towards her nose. Uh, the eyes look to be painted kind of clean. Uh, she kind of has the Harley Quinn hairstyle from the movies. You know, this is the look where she's kind of wearing the corset with the leather jacket on top. And then on the back, um, it looks like we have digital renders of some of the other figures they produce. You know, there's a comic book inspired Catwoman, Flash, Joker... Uh, Green Lantern, Superman, and Batman. So th the Catwoman looks like to be, I think, I want to say that looks like a new 52 design. The Flash looks like it's a new 52 design. Uh, the Joker looks kind of evergreen, you know, very, uh, very universal, timeless design. Uh, same with the Green Lantern. Um, it looks a little bit more traditional, but it has like the textured pattern on his uniform. Uh, Superman, this looks more classic. And then Batman here, this looks like Rebirth Batman. So it looks like they're touching upon the different eras um, of DC in terms of the way they portray the characters. And if you're more, if you're curious about this line, check out BendyFigs.com. Um, and this was when was this produced? Was this this year? Um, I can't find a copyright date on here, so I'm assuming this is you know probably within the last. I don't know, three years, possibly. So yeah, we have Harley Quinn. Now, if you're curious about the size of this, um, you know, I tried measuring it inside of the, the, the box, and it, it appears to be about, 
seven inches tall, you know, much like the description I saw on Amazon, you know, it's a seven inch scale action figure. But if you're curious if this will like scale next to like a McFarlane figure, um, here is my Green Lantern, John Stewart, and he's kind of like a nice, you know, baseline figure. You know, he's not too big. He's not too small. He's about the, you know, I want to say almost like the universal size for most you know, superhero sized McFarlane figures that aren't like a heavyweight or lightweight. You know, this guy is kind of like the common build size. So the McFarlane line is like roughly like, I think like a seven, anywhere between a seven to seven and a half inch scale figure. And let's just see how they size up. I'm going to try to line them up, you know, as close as possible. And as you can see, the Bendy, it's really a seven inch scale figure, but it's a little bit on the larger side. So I think it's going to be dependent. I really want to pick up other figures like the Joker and Batman and see how well she scales next to Batman and how well she scales to Joker. Um, I'm kind of wondering if all the figures are, are going to like be exactly seven inches or if they sc scale well, you know, next to each other. Um, now, is this something you need? Um, uh, depends. If you're a Harley Quinn fan, I'm going to say possibly. Uh, I purchased this on Amazon, I believe, for I think like $14 or $15. And it's cool. It's, it's more of a display piece than anything else. You know, it's not something you're going to use for like action figure photography just because, you know, the limitations in the poses. But if you just want a nice display piece that borderlines on like a mini statue, I think this is pretty cool. The price point sounds reasonable to me, like, you know, $14 for something like this. I think it's kind of cool. Uh, because growing up, like the bendy figs I got back in the day, they were like half the size of something like this. Alright, so let's uh, take a look at this one last time uh, up close before we take off. So here's the card, bendy figs, noble collection. Um, up close of her face, and as you can see, her makeup's kind of off, especially around the lips. Uh, the gradation on the hair is nice though, so it transitions from the, like the light blonde to kind of like the blue and then the pink on the opposite pigtail. Uh, the paint job is a little bit sloppy on the figure itself. It's not completely clean. As you can see on her corset, it's a little bit blotchy and same with her hand. Uh, the sculpt is nice. It's a little on the soft side, but I think that's to be expected considering the material this figure is made of. Um, I do like the costume design. I think this is a very choice design for Harley Quinn. So yeah, this is the Bendy Figs um, Harley Quinn. So if this is something that you know you might be interested in, check it out. Uh, check out the website at bendyfigs.com you know, for more information. So let's wrap this video up. Once again, my name is Lou. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I'll see you at the next one. All right, later.